Well, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> well, this is chapter 13, and uh, I'm a firm believer that when you plan ahead, your life will find a way to ruin those plans, and this is yet another one. <laughs> I promised in the last episode that this episode is going to be about my grandfather's, but again, I need to postpone that. You may ask why. Well, uh, well, the thing is, uh, it was a very busy week. <laughs> it, it, a lot of stuff happened, a lot of stuff. You may notice a slightly different echo in the room and uh, different noises in the background. It's because... I am relocated. I am not in my mother's house anymore. I am in my father's house now. And, uh, yeah. Well, the start of the week was the end of a a bureaucracy that took a lot out of me. And all it amounted to was a tiny piece of paper just to tell my university that I can pay them. (laughs) Well, uh... That was the beginning of the week, but I thought, okay, that's not very important. Then in Monday, I had a very violent uh, fight with my mother. Violent as in, uh, we didn't hit each other. It was just uh, violent in terms of um, stuff that was said. It was a big fight. But even then, I said, well, I'm going to keep my uh, promise it's not that important, nobody really cares. And then it happened. Uh, my mother's husband uh, tested positive for coronavirus. <laughs> so I tested, I tested negative, and I needed to relocate from there to here. And uh, it's, it is kind of uh, startling. Oh. Again, I am I am very afraid of the coronavirus because I know my body and I think if I, if I catch it, I am dead for sure. I have a very weak immune system. But this whole thing was weird, to say it another way. Um, first, uh, the relocation. Oh, first the uh, drink. Actually, I uh, haven't been here in a year and a half, more than a year and a half, I think. I haven't been in my father's house. And uh, there was some actual syrups here, the same stuff that I bought in my mother's house, but here, and uh, there was a blue kusa one. (laughs) It wasn't expired, thankfully, but instead of a big bottle, I now have like a small bottle of Blue sour syrup and water. Let me take a sip. Ice. Nice, very cold, very refreshing. Anyways, uh, for those of you who don't know, and uh, I think I've said it before, but if I haven't, my parents are divorced. They divorced when I was five years old. That's a whole can of worms that I'm not ready to open yet. But... Um, my uh i am primary i was primarily stationed in my father's house but uh, over the past year and a half i was in my mother's house due to a few things including but not limited to depression and just laziness and habit i'm a creature of habit when i find a habit that i like i rarely change that and um Being in my uh, mother's house became a habit. Actually, on that note, uh, I spent the last day yesterday uh, organizing my stuff here. Because, well, it's been a year and a half. I need to familiarize myself with the surrounding. And I have a very weird feeling. I felt a deep sadness. Uh, uh, Here, it doesn't feel like home anymore it almost feels like uh, a hotel room which is bad but again i'm a creature of habit so it's natural to feel that way 
It was a year and a half of my life living in my mother's house, and things are very different in both houses. Again, if I talk about my grandfathers, you will realize there's my mother and my father are two very different people from two very different families, and so each house has its own set of rules and its own set of stuff. <laughs> yeah. So that was the virus. <laughs> that was a scare. I was fucking terrified. I mean, I couldn't eat. Uh, they took the test at 6 a.m., which meant I needed to wake up at that time, which, I mean, I hate waking up early. But, um, and the test itself wasn't as bad as I thought. You know, the, the they put the cotton swab in your mouth, um, which, I mean, you gag a little bit. I'm sorry for the imagery. And then they shove it up your nose, and that actually hurt a little bit. I The right nostril didn't hurt as much, but the left nostril, I think it caught on something because it really hurt. And throughout the day, I was feeling like there's something in there. But yeah, I also have seasonal allergies, which is why I sound a little bit nasally now. But I do have seasonal allergies, and it's not good when you have seasonal allergies allergies and your nose is all you know uh, how do i say it uh, i know how to say it in persian but <laughs> when the nose is stuffed oh yes that's when you have a stuffy nose and someone shoves something up there it doesn't feel very good <laughs> and yeah adding to the disgusting imagery i i needed to empty my nose like right away <laughs> because the dam was broken. And so, yeah. Next week, I'm I'm probably going to talk about my grandfather. But then again, this week is the week that I'm going to finally start the practicing. We were supposed to do it last week. But, well, as I said, coronavirus. <laughs> and the fight and the whole thing just blew out of control. Yeah. Anyways, uh, that that was the day, and I couldn't eat anything during the day when the test was done because I was so afraid, and uh, a lot of different stuff was in my head from my movie to uh, the pain of the virus. My cousin actually got the virus, and it was pretty painful, so... Sorry for that noise. I just ate breakfast, by the way. Outside, if you can't believe it. <laughs> yeah. So for the foreseeable future, um, I am here. I don't know. I'm a creature of habit. I'm pretty sure when I get used to this place, I have a hard time going back to my mother's place, but... Right now, I'm not feeling my best. I'm feeling a bit down and depressed. Thankfully, uh, yesterday, my friend, uh, Kirash, which I'm going to shout out here because I know he doesn't listen to this, he helped me move from that house to this house, and uh, he, came, uh, he picked me up with his car and helped me settle in. And while he was here, I, it was okay, but when he left, the whole sadness thing sort of came out <laughs> now when i used to do this i used to tell people that i want to talk but honestly i don't think anyone wants to talk to me um i i hate passive aggressiveness to be honest but i became a bit passive aggressive last week myself and i hated myself for it but then i noticed the <laughs> techniques that i used for being passive aggressive being used on me which wasn't good so yeah i'm a, i'm feeling a bit depressed i i don't know what i'm going to name this episode yet 
I was thinking doing like closer than you think coronavirus edition but too long and I don't know if I'm going to talk about all of my fears I probably will at some point but I don't know so I probably call it relocation depression because that sounds actually pretty cool <laughs> and uh, yeah I do feel a bit down, I do feel a bit depressed, I do feel a bit, uh, how do I sit to make make it make sense? <laughs> uh, I feel mortal, I feel, uh, I feel forgettable, you know, I feel like if I die right now, a ton of people will probably forget. <laughs> Which is true for everyone. But uh, I don't know. I think I have an overworked memory. I do remember almost all of the people I lost. From my friend uh, who uh, may have committed suicide. To my grandfather's. To my father's uncle. Uh, I have a good memory. But yeah, I'm I'm feeling a bit mortal, I'm feeling a bit depressed. And in times like this, I usually go to that place of, oh, please, someone, come talk to me. But honestly, there is also another aspect to the whole thing that I don't want people to talk to me when they don't want to talk to me. In other words, I don't like pity. Which is funny because all I do is whine here. But I don't like pity. I don't want people to pity me. I want them to listen to me. And I do want them to want to listen to me. You know. I uh, I know it's a tall order of stuff. But that's, that's how I feel. <laughs> that's how I uh, fucking feel. I'm saying this because... Uh, person came to talk to me this girl i know from twitter and she obviously didn't want to talk to me and was looking for a way to say bye and go out and why do you come to talk to me then i didn't message you you messaged me <laughs> motherfucker <laughs> is it pity is it um, obligation i don't want people to feel obligated i already feel like a burden i don't need any more of that on my conscience <sighs> This episode derailed a lot, but again, it's relocation depression, and depression doesn't usually have a cohesive train of thought. It usually just points out all of your mistakes. In other news, I need to speak with a couple of people today and ask them to give me the schedule so I can uh, make my plan for the practice and talking about the movie. And yeah. Not not as easy as it sounds when you're not feeling good. It's a it's a tiring process making a movie and it drains a lot of energy. Even a short movie, even a short simple one like the one I'm making right now, but I don't know. Uh when you're when you're feeling this down and when you're feeling this abandoned it tends to not feel uh, so good <laughs> yeah I'm going to take another sip of this actually this is a perfect ratio I've done it again <laughs> and I actually miss my mother quite a bit I don't know One day, I, I I do plan to leave Iran, that's for sure. Anyone who lives in Iran has a plan to leave Iran, but I don't know. I do want to, I do need to, but I feel, uh, <laughs> I feel lonely here in my parents' house. Do you imagine how... You can you imagine how much lonely I will feel out there? 
with probably racist people. <laughs> but life does go on without whether you want it or not. And uh, oh, five minutes left. Oh my god, the stopwatch is online again. And by the way, internet here is really bad. The net, the net speed sucks. So it might take a while until I can uh, upload this episode. And uh, the I do have a system a little bit behind the scene. I record, then I upload it on Anchor. And while it's uploading on Anchor, I use a video converter to put an image over the voice. Uh, for my YouTube channel and uh, I upload it on the YouTube channel and then when both are uploaded I publish them at the same time because I have OCD but um, it might take a while today because the net here is kind of shitty (sighs) I don't know Anyways, if you're listening to this and you know who I am and you have a way of contacting me, let's let's talk a little bit. I, I do need a I do need a voice other than mine and the voices in my head to talk to me. I I don't I didn't used to be like that when I was younger, younger when I, two or three years ago. I used to tell people that I need to talk and ask them to talk to me, but right now, I mean, that's that's what depression does to you. I I don't I can't do that. And honestly, with how people like you know that girl that I said, uh, her name is uh, Sava, I think, and. Uh, People like that, or another one who actually comes to... I don't know why they do that. If you don't want to talk, if all you've got to do is just see the message and leave... Why do you initiate conversation? God, I am a mess. (laughs) And this room is a mess. I need to clean it up today more. Which is not fun, but it needs to be done. And uh, well, as usual, I have two minutes left. Motherfucker, how much more can I stretch this episode? <laughs> I could have talked about my grandfather's, but you know, it needs a full episode. Probably next one. This uh, season is going to be 15 episodes. So. We are on episode 13. Two more episodes. Probably next one is going to be Grandfathers. And the last one is probably going to be the the movie. That I'm making. A still working title. Sand. Which I know is not the best title. But I haven't found a better one yet. And, uh, well, as usual, if you are listening to this on YouTube, go out and check my older project, which I've put there. Uh, not not the best stuff, and all of them are copyright claimed because I use copyrighted material, but I think, it, I do think they are uh, kind of fun to, well, uh, despite me not wanting to have to edit these episodes, my recorder just died. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, I had to replace the batteries. But I remember what I was saying. I was saying there is a short animated thing there, uh, which I made quite a few years ago. It's kind of fun. I actually kind of like it because I never had done cut out. And that was my first time. So, yeah. And uh, if you are listening on YouTube and you want to message me or contact me, you know you can uh, come to Anchor. There is a link probably in the description. 
that uh, you can use and come to Anchor and send me a voice message there. And if you are on Anchor or on Spotify or on uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and you want to visit the uh, YouTube channel, uh, I don't know how to do that. If you are on Anchor, there is a link for it on the podcast's page. I don't like calling it a podcast, but on the podcast's page. And um, if you are not on an anchor and you want to, you can either search for the name of the show, The Last Thoughts of a Busy Mind, or the name of the channel is my own name, Ali Khamse, Khamse, K-H-A-M-S-E-H. So I don't know, my, it, that might be useful. The picture is me, <laughs> a black and white picture of me. And, um, yeah, I, I guess that's it. Send me a message. Come talk to me if you know where to find me. I do need someone to help me with the depression. <laughs> and uh, I guess I see you next week. <laughs>